Okay, so I'm back again for another transfer video, um, specifically for printmaking and even more specifically for stamp making um, with um, the stamping plates. And this is a sandwich plate, uh, Chinese made. This is the packaging that it came in and I've done one stamp with it and I actually really like this. I got a couple other Chinese plates I wasn't as thrilled about so I'm going to try and do something with a lot of text and small details on this plate and we'll see how it comes out and I actually it's a little bit dirty because I had it up against some other um, plates from a recent video with graphite transfer so it some of the graphite rubbed off but it should be okay. Um, I actually might want to clean that just a little bit first. Let's see if I can get some of that off really quick. Um, today the transfer that I'm going to be doing is a different type of transfer. So typically when I'm making a stamp, I will draw out my designs. Um, and I'll do a graphite transfer because it's just so easy and I don't have to deal with printing anything or anything like that. So, um, but if it's a really detailed design or it's something that somebody's really specific on what they want, uh, I'll design it on the computer and uh, print it out. Okay, and this was done on a laser printer. Um, and typically, uh, I my personal printer is an inkjet printer so I'll show you how to um, transfer with that because it this this process only works if you have a laser printer um, and this I think is the easiest transfer process to do okay so I'm gonna cut this out real quick and then I will show you Ooh, that was not good Blade must be kind of dull. It's kind of tearing the paper. That's bad. Hopefully, I don't. There we go. Alright. Not perfect, but whatever. I don't care. Okay. Um, and this is for a friend. She is a uh, theater teacher of my, a theater teacher friend of mine. Um, that wanted the stamp for uh, yearbook signing time because being a teacher you get like a million kids that want you to sign their yearbooks at the end of the year so you know what this is a huge time saver so anyway um, the way that you do this if you have a laser printer uh, what you're gonna do is print it out okay I never deal. I never do anything with color. You could, but it doesn't matter um, since I'm going to be making it into a stamp. I just need to see the image. Um, so you'll print it out, cut it out, uh, and I try and cut it pretty close as well. I should have just used scissors, but uh, I try and cut it pretty close to the image as well, uh, so that way I know how big it's going to be without cutting the actual image itself. I want to keep everything on there. There we go. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this face down on a plate that is clean like this. And we'll see how it goes with this plate because this this will only be the second stamp that I've ever made with this particular plate. Um, so hopefully it goes well. Um, but I liked it for the first one, so we'll we'll just kind of see what happens. But anyway, get a cotton ball and um, just regular acetone nail polish remover. Okay, 100% acetone. This was like a dollar uh, again at Walmart. Okay, um, Equate. Uh, that's all you need. You don't need much and you don't need to do a lot with this so I'm just gonna do this real quick all right 
close the bottle so it doesn't get everywhere. I will say if you do a lot of rubbing on this, it will break down your printing plate. Uh, and I made that mistake not terribly long ago because I didn't really think about it. And I was trying to clean a stamp with acetone and it just almost like melted. Um, so I had to redo it, but that's all right. So anyway, you don't want to use this a lot. You don't want to rub it a lot. So I'm just going to go over it one time. Kind of firm pressure, not super hard. Like that. Okay. And you can even see the color on um, that cotton ball there. So let's see what we get. Pretty good, not too shabby. Okay, and then uh, I always keep the actual image close by because there's some details on here that you still can't see on here real well. So like, if you see right there above the eye in between the eye and the glasses, you can see a little bit of skin color, but you can't see it on the transfer. So I like to keep these things around just so I can get all those little details that you miss with the transfer, but it'll get almost everything really well. So anyway, that's about the easiest transfer you can do. You have to have a laser printer to do this. Um, and it's just acetone and that's it. Okay. Um, don't overwork it. Just try it and see what happens. Uh, you can do this transfer on lots of different things too, not just this plate. Um, but that's what I use it for. Anyway, hope this helps somebody. Good luck. Happy carving.